anyway. Should we pray? Yes, yes we should. Jacob, would you like to pray for us? Yeah, guys, just thank you for letting us come here today to have a hopefully civilized discussion. God, I just pray that each one of us is able to um, have our own uh, sites that we believe, God, that we're able to just um, nicely express all these, God, that we're able to all be humble with each other, that we don't grow aggressive to each other, God. I just pray that by the end of this discussion, no matter where each one of us stands, God, I just pray that each one of us is able to um, continue having a good chance. Amen. Where we go? Who has the strongest opinion? Strongest opinion? Like yeah. who has the most on this on this topic? Who has the most evidence to back it up? <laughs> I mean, when you get random text saying, I didn't say that. No. when you get random text saying there's no free will, it seems like you have a strong <laughs> argument. No. Not that strong. Right, you want to? I mean, go. that's a pretty I don't old think I have statement. <laughs> Hello? Okay. Um, last time what we failed to do before we started the discussion on free will was define what free will is. Yeah. So, I think it's when someone has the capability to do whatever they want, whenever they want. Can we agree on that top, top like, this definition? Yeah, or? I agree with that. that. Like, you have the capability Based. to yeah. do whatever you want, whenever you want. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good? Yeah, my, definition, my definition is basically the same. Yeah. You, what, was what was yours? Uh, the ability to choose between different possible courses of action, unimpeded. Cool. Yeah. yeah. No disagreements. Okay. I have a very strong opinion. Hope I don't offend anyone. But. Uh, can we also talk about the difference between freedom and free will? Like political freedom? Or what, like what freedom? Like our. Define biblical freedom. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> can you, can you say, no, 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 no. Can you say biblical freedom? He just said freedom. Freedom and free will? Freedom. Yeah, like, since we're defining free will, I feel like we should also find the difference between freedom and free will. For sure. Well, I think free will comes into play because, right, so everyone has the act of a free will, right? Nope. So, no? Nope. <laughs> no, they don't. Not everybody? Who doesn't? Oh, okay. Come on, let's just, one thing, we're, at a, we're one, thing, one thing at a time. One thing at a time. Oh, sidetracked it. <laughs> I feel like it's important though. Uh, freedom says, like on Google it said, the power or act, or right to act, speak, or think as one wants without hindrance or restraint. So that is like we have the right to do what we want. But free will is we have the choice to do what we want. I don't, I don't know. Do you have to do the difference? I've got... Uh, there's a Christian philosopher named Mortimer Alder who like splits freedom into three different definitions, like three different kinds of freedom. So you have circumstantial freedom, which is the freedom from coercion or restraint that prevents acting on one's will. And then you have natural freedom which is freedom to determine one's own decisions or plans. Uh, natural freedom is inherent in all people, in all circumstances, and without regard to any state of mind or character which they may or may not acquire in the course of their lives. And then we also have acquired freedom, which is freedom to live as one ought to live, a freedom that requires a transformation whereby a person, a righteous person, just, like, like the ability to choose to be righteous or something like that. So to sum it up, what would those three bullet points be exactly? Quick three word summary. Like a word three. So, so the first one is the 
freedom from being restrained, you know. You can do whatever you want. Um, Isn't that what free will is, though? It, it, it could be, but freedom is more like, this is one aspect of freedom. It's not only what freedom is. So free will is a part of freedom, or freedom is a part of free will? Mm -hmm. No, 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 but, I'm asking. But they're not, but they're not the same thing. They have similarities, like circumstantial freedom. But they're not all the same. Okay. So if we were to like, like this circle, like this circle is free will. Would there be a smaller circle inside that's like it's freedom, or would there be a bigger circle outside of that? I think it's a bigger circle. Okay, so freedom encompasses. I think so, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. But that's what you believe. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, back to you. Yes. Good. It's good thing that we defined those terms. Um, because last time, Joseph, you stated. Uh, you stated, I don't think the concept of free will applies to God. And I would like to contradict this point and say that free will only applies to God. Because we have defined, you've all agreed to the definition that free will is that you have the choice to do whatever you want, whenever you want. Yeah. As humans, we don't have that capability at all. We can't be in three places at the same time. We can't lift a thousand pounds with one arm. We can't, you know, do whatever we want. Only God can do that. Last time I disagreed and said that God doesn't have free will. Well, th this was because we didn't define terms at all. Um, and I was like, God can't have free will because he can't sin. Well, if the definition of free will means you can do whatever you want, God would never want to sin. If God is good, God cannot want to sin. Therefore, the definition still applies, and only God can have free will. That's what I think. So in a way, I do agree with you and say we don't have free will, but I also think only God has free will. And I have a scripture to prove it. Uh, can we? Let's see. Can we turn to Psalms 115? What verse? Uh, three. Would someone like to read? I got it. Our God is in heaven. He does whatever he pleases. Exactly. Whatever pleases him. Boom. Not only is it logical that God can do whatever he wants, it's also factual because it's in the Bible. So, yes. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm confused. I don't necessarily disagree with you, but what's the difference between his sovereign nature and free will? I feel like free will is a gift he bestowed upon us, and there's like well, a biblical definition of it different than our own definition of it. Because our got, own definition, you said, is to do whatever we want, whenever we want, so like teleport over there. That is the, that's defi not, that's the definition of free will. Biblical free will? Yes. Where in the Bible does it state that? State that that is the definition. Yes. Yeah. That is the definition. That's what we call free will. Free will, in this case, when we're talking about free will, it means you can do whatever you want, whenever you want. We all agree? But when we're talking about humans and their will, we have more of a creaturely will, in which we don't have the capability to do whatever we want, whenever we want. It's simply not possible. Right. You've got to pay attention to the language that is being used. Because if you want to use free will in the context of humans have free will, you cannot say that the definition of free will is that you can do whatever you want, whenever you want. That's right. simply not the definition if you're talking about humans. Right. So that's, that's not what I'm saying. I'm okay. saying the free will that God gave us is completely different than the ability to like create anything or teleport, teleport here and there. Or, you know, can humans do any of that? No, they can't. Then we don't have to. <laughs> right. Our will is different. We don't have freedom at all. We are either enslaved to sin or we're enslaved to God. And we cannot do whatever we want, whenever we want. We don't but have those capabilities. But enslavement implies that you don't have freedom, though. You and don't. I feel like you find freedom. Oh, you don't feel like we have freedom? Well, you cannot. You don't have the capability to be your own self. You, you, you can either serve two masters. 
says that in the Bible. Yeah. You serve one master, uh-huh. pick one, love one, you hate the other. Uh-huh. But either way, we have a master. Uh-huh. No, but in We're a sense, not. what the Bible is saying when we have free will is just that we have the capability to make our own decisions. Where does it say that in the Bible? Really, many places. That's just, where, that's just what it implies. Does it call it free will? It doesn't, it doesn't imply that, you know. We're godly beings such as God. Like, I'm sure God has God has the just the freedom to do whatever He wants. I feel like that's different than free will because free will is a gift He gave to us. I feel like that's just the sovereign nature that okay. He is God Himself. He can do whatever He wants. I I don't think free will applies to Him. I mean, I guess in a sense it does because He can do whatever He wants. But that's not what free will was created for. Free will was created as a gift for human beings. Yeah, because we're humanly bound. Like we're, we don't have the capabilities of doing everything that you could possibly imagine. Mm -hmm. We right. can't create. We can't like build mountains from our mind and like. Yeah, you know we what can't I mean? do any of that. Right, we can't exactly. do any of that. But we can do like we in the choices and the things that we're able to do, mm -hmm. we can choose. Yeah. That means that we have a choice. That doesn't mean we have to go. If you want to. Talk about free will in terms of we're limited, but we also have a choice. You need to redefine terms. Well, because what, yeah. yeah, free will in a sense means you can't do anything. Okay. In, in the broad sense of it. It means you what? It means you can literally do anything. You can, yeah. Yeah, but I don't think but that was the free will that was given to us. Which, which, which could be that it could be a different word for it. Or maybe we just have a misunderstanding on the definition. But... Our, our free will is very limited, like you said. Okay. And, yeah. But it's just the term that God uses as the gift he gave to us. I don't think. Really? Where? Well, that's what it's called in the Bible, no? I got you. I'm here to, I'm here to state that free will is not biblical. No? It's not stated explicitly in the Old Testament or the New yeah. Testament. What's the term they use for it? Yeah. Yeah, there's no term. The idea of free will was created by... Aristotle in the, in the fourth century BC, and at the <laughs> oh gosh, okay. some other guy in the first in the first century AD. So after the, after the Bible, where was the idea? Kind of where did it sprout from? There had to be something relating to it in the Bible. Um, okay, so it seems like we can't get to your guys' heads on changing what the definition of free will is. Okay, but do you believe that whatever you do, for the limits that human beings have, huh? can we do anything? No. So no matter what, you're saying that if we're going to walk away from this and sin in five minutes, that is definitely going to happen. What? <laughs> okay, okay. That, that is a completely different thing than what I'm saying. I'm saying that if we're talking about free will, that is something only God can do because he has the power to do whatever he wants and we don't. I don't know why you pulled out the, uh, if we're going to sin in five minutes, we're gonna, that's a definite thing that's going to happen. I just feel like there's no comparing our free will to God's sovereignty. I don't, just I just don't see that. I just don't see that. Well, yeah. Okay, okay define maybe not sovereignty. The, maybe not the term free will. Define sovereignty. Sovereignty is what we are using as the definition for free will, which apparently isn't in the Bible at all. Sovereignty is wait, wait, wait. free will? I'm confused. Wait, I'm confused, Arya. So. Yes. Confused, Arya. Do you, wait, I'm sorry. I can't see Arya. I cannot see Arya this whole time. Um... Um, do you, do you think that we have zero choice in life to do anything? Zero choice? No. That you, is okay, not wait, what I'm saying. So, so the zero, so the choices that we make in life, that's not defined as free will. You're saying that, right? Yeah. I'm saying choices and free will are two completely different things. The options to do things and free will, they're not the same thing. So we don't have free will because of what free will is defined as? Yes. You're saying only God has free will because he can literally do anything, anytime yes, he wants. he wants, yes. And we can't. We can't, yes. Because of the fact that we're human? Is yes. that why? Yes. Because we're human, we're, yes. we're not immortal like God is. Yes. We are mortal people. Yes. We're mortal beings. Yes. Yeah. And so, like, because, because, can you at least agree with me that, like, the church defines free will in the, in a, untrue way then 
Well, how does the church define free will? I, 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 we both grew up in the church, same church. Yeah. I feel like I grew up thinking that we did have free will based on what the church taught. Yeah. Do you I mean, I've never, I've never touched on this subject before and, like, discussed it, but it, when they defined free will, it did make it seem as though, like, they, had it. Yes. But th it also made it seem like they were defining it like, yes, we can do whatever we want, like, whenever we want, which is simply not the case, which I think if... But I feel like they meant by by in the in the limits of mortals. I think that's what they meant. What who meant? When people said that that we have the choice to do whatever and everything we want to do. That's I I don't know if they if you heard it that way and they, they contextualized it that way. Sure, I don't. I'm sure I'm it is. Sure. But, it's a service think, but I think that's what it was. Beings, but I feel like that's what they meant. Beings. Do you agree or no? I don't think so. I don't. If, oh, you if, thought that they meant they, that. It, look, if they didn't define terms, I don't think they probably even knew what they were talking about in the first place.